My name is Tim Chiddleba. I'm a colorectal surgeon at the Royal Melbourne Hospital. Some of our patients with bowel cancer will be diagnosed, or most of them will be diagnosed with colonoscopy. Some of them will just need a, um, a removal of their lesion endoscopically with a colonoscopy. Uh, some of our patients with early cancer will have procedure to remove it minimally invasively through the, through the anus. And many of the other patients will require surgery. Surgery is very effective for bowel cancer. We have uh, good rates of effective surgical treatment. Most of our cases are being done uh, minimally invasively, either with laparoscopic keyhole surgery or robotic surgery. There is still the place for open surgery with a bigger cat. We're required. Our robotic surgery is a, a more recent addition to uh, the hospital. It allows us to do some of the more difficult cases, particularly the rectal tumours in the low part of the bowel that are more difficult to remove uh, with a minimally invasive approach. So that's allowed us to provide minimally invasive surgery to more patients. The robotic surgery is very similar to the laparoscopic, the keyhole surgery. However, instead of the surgeon holding the instruments, the robotic gives us that uh, extra degree of rotation and movement at the end of the instrument that really provides an extra bit of technical precision that assists the surgeon. Our more advanced cases sometimes require the resection of other organs involved with cancer. Uh, some patients have spread to the liver and require removal of parts of their liver. Some patients have involvement of adjacent organs uh, involving, uh, for example, the kidney or small bowel that's been uh, involved in the tumour would also be, be removed. Thankfully, these are uh, far less common and most patients just require removal of the affected bowel. We also have good uh, options for medical management with chemotherapy for patients that have more advanced disease discovered at surgery uh, or ones that are not suitable for surgery. Uh, so we're at a time where we have, have a good armamentarium of uh, options for care for our, our patients with bowel cancer. My name's Sarah, I'm a senior dietitian at the Royal Melbourne Hospital. There's a quite a strong link between diet and risk of bowel cancer. Some foods can increase our risk of getting bowel cancer, things like red meats in high amounts and processed meats like ham or bacon or salami. Uh, when we eat red meat, there's a certain compound in it that when it's broken down, it can damage the lining of our bowel and that increases the risk of bowel cancer. And also charring meats can be harmful, so when we cook meats at a really high temperature, it can form a, a molecule that can actually cause cancer. So it's recommended to limit to around 350 to 500 grams maximum of cooked red meat per week. The best things you can do to reduce your risk of bowel cancer are having a really nice high fibre diet. So fibre is found in things like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts and seeds. Uh, so it's a good idea to have lots of fruit, veggies, different types of whole grains like bread, uh, brown rice, pasta, oats, quinoa, barley or other grains. Uh, there is some research that dairy is protective against bowel cancer as well, so milk, yoghurt, cheese. Uh, so having a couple of serves of dairy a day can reduce your risk of bowel cancer. Alcohol is linked to many types of cancers, including bowel cancer. It's recommended to have at least two alcohol-free days per week and then limit your total alcohol consumption to a maximum 10 standard drinks per week and trying to avoid more than four standard drinks on any given day. What we do most of the time is most important, so it's still fine to have red meat or processed meats or lower fibre foods. It's just trying to increase our fibre and reduce our meat most of the time, but still allowing ourselves to enjoy those foods um, because food is really important socially and has a lot of other, there are lot, lots of reasons why we enjoy food, so we don't have to cut anything out completely. The evidence associating taking aspirin with prevention of bowel cancer is totally overwhelming. So people who take aspirin have a lower incidence of bowel cancer by about 20%, 30%. And the people that take aspirin consistently have less incidence of not only bowel cancer, but a whole host of other cancers. There is a national recommendation in Australia for all Australians to take 100 milligrams of aspirin daily in the age group 50 to 70. most importantly for bowel cancer is our, is our National Bowel Cancer Screening Program. The key to good surgical treatment for bowel cancer is early identification and removal and that really uh, has improved our care of bowel cancer immensely and I'd encourage patients to uptake and use the kit when it arrives in the mail. Do the test. Do the National Bowel Cancer Screening Program. It could save your life. Don't ignore symptoms. See your doctor and take aspirin if you're in 50 to 70 year old age group talk to your doctor about doing that as well and you'll be right.